Welcome to ConnectWise Level Up, a new bi-weekly series brought to you by ConnectWise Consulting. Each video will highlight a key feature of one of our products to help you learn more and level up your use of the ConnectWise suite of products. Today's topic is using item remaps to drive quoting automation. The feature function we're covering today applies to the cell product. The key concepts for item remaps are the accuracy of quotes is improved as item remaps ensure the correct information is automatically added. Quotes are more consistent as item remaps ensure that the right information is added to items on the quote. Efficiency is improved too as the user does not have to spend time manually adding or checking information. The item remap screen can be found within the cell settings menu. Search for remap in the quick search box. Let's take a look at an example of an item remap. Setting the correct category and subcategory for new items before they are added to the ConnectWise Managed Product Catalog. When items are added to a quote from Etalize, the product class field is populated with information provided by Etalize. For example, if a notebook is added to a quote, the product class field will be populated with notebooks. This information allows us to set up an item remap. This item remap works by saying, if the product class is notebooks, then set the product category to hardware. And similarly, if the product class is notebooks, then set the product subcategory to notebooks. This will ensure that when Cell adds a new notebook to the managed product catalog, it has already been correctly categorized. Another common example of an item remap will ensure that when recurring items are added to a quote, the one-time price and cost fields are always set to zero. In the example on screen from the managed product catalog, the recurring item shown is using both the unit price and cost field, as well as recurring revenue and cost field. The unit of measure used is month. Without the help of an item remap, the quote would then show a one-time price of $500 and a recurring price of $500. An item remap will ensure that the one-time unit price and cost are not added to the quote. In this example, these item remaps are saying, if the unit of measure is month, then set the cost, list price, and quote price to zero. This item remap ensures that only the recurring revenue and recurring cost information from the managed product catalog is added to the quote. Updating details like this is easily forgotten, takes additional time, and can produce different results per quote if it is done manually. Whereas item remaps help to prevent common mistakes and improve accuracy, consistency, and efficiency. There are many other ways that item remaps can help with your quoting. Interested in more information? We hope you enjoyed learning about today's topic. If you want to learn more, come back in two weeks to hear about our next topic. And of course, our ConnectWise consultants are all, always available whenever you need help with additional training or system setup. So if you'd like to learn more about how our consulting team can help you level up with ConnectWise, please contact your account manager at accountmanager at connectwise.com. And if there's a topic that you'd like to hear more about in an up and coming ConnectWise Level Up, please comment below with your suggestions. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to follow our channel, and remember to click the bell to be notified when a new video is available.